Hey guys, today we're going to be creating a work of art based on the artist Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow was a painter who painted pictures of cakes and different desserts and lots of different common items we would see. Um, they were very colorful and full of shapes. So we are going to create a cake made from shapes in the style of Wayne Tebow. Here are the supplies we will need for today. Today you'll need a pencil. As always, you're going to need a piece of paper, and you're going to need something to color. I'm going to use crayons, but like I've said before, use whatever you have at home to color. It can be crayons, it can be colored pencils, oil pastels, paint, chalk, anything that you have will work, but we're going to need something to add some color. To start our Wayne Tebow style cake, you're going to begin by drawing an oval. An oval kind of a little bit towards the top of your paper, and if you notice, I'm using my paper landscape style, which is long ways. So I'm going to draw a nice big oval, a really stretched out one. Let me just double check. Yep, that looks to be just the way I want it. I'm going to fix it just a little bit and erase the part that I just corrected. So I'm going to start with an oval. After you have your oval, what you're going to do is take your pencil and you're going to draw two lines, two straight lines going down from the sides of your oval, oval. All right, and that's gonna make the sides of your cake. So this is gonna be the top of your cake, and these are gonna be the sides. To finish the um, outline of your cake, what you're gonna do is draw a line on the bottom connecting the two lines, and it's gonna be curved just kind of like that curve on the top of the cake. We'll do a curve line just like that, connecting them. There you go. And now you have the outline of your cake. Um, our cake, since we're doing ours Wayne Tebow style, and Tebow painted in the 60s. And in the 60s, if you saw cakes, a lot of times they were on cake stands. Um, we see that still today, but not as much as we did back then. So I'm going to actually draw a cake stand underneath my cake. And to do that, I'm going to draw another oval. It's not even going to be a full oval. It's going to be a oval that stops behind my cake. If this oval kept going, it would connect behind my cake, but since my cake is in front of it, you're not going to see that. Then to finish that, I'm going to draw a, another little curve line underneath it, just connecting underneath. That kind of makes it look a little bit thicker, and then I'm just going to draw a line going down, and there's my cake stand. All right. Everyone's picture is probably going to look something like this so far, but that's the only time that they're going to look the same. From now on, everyone's is going to start to look different because now you're going to start to design your cake. It's up to you what shapes you want to incorporate into your cake. You can use any shape you can think of or you can even create your own shapes. So maybe you want to put a swirl in the middle of your cake. That would be a great idea. Maybe on the sides of your cake you want to add triangles. Maybe in between the triangles, you add some straight lines. All these details are what is going to make your cake look more unique and more detailed. And overall, it's going to look way better once we go to add the color. All right. So right now, you're going to go ahead and start adding your details. The last thing I'm going to do before I start coloring is I'm going to go in and actually trace an outline over all of the pencil lines that I did. Um, you could do this using a marker or anything that you want. I'm going to use a crayon. I'm using a dark color crayon. I'm using an indigo color um, because Tebow in his pictures used lots of different colors, colors that you might not have expected to see. So I'm going to use indigo instead of a black, and I'm going to actually start tracing over all of my lines, and then I'm going to go ahead once I'm done with that and start adding my color. Here's a look at my finished picture. Remember guys, I want you to be creative. Don't use the same shapes and colors that I did. Make yours different, make yours unique. I can't wait to see what you guys create.